So your phone is fully charged, you got your day bag packed, and you have your sunglasses handy. You are off to spend a fun-filled day in the city. But oh no! An hour into your adventure and your bladder is screaming at you to take a leak. And this is a conundrum that locals and tourists alike deal with. How to find a bathroom in New York. And that's what we're gonna tackle today. Welcome to Urban Caffeine. My name is Thea and you're watching a channel that talks about urbanism, public transit, and how to stay comfortable in a large, dense city. Make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell turned on. And while you're at it, hit that like button. First of all, some of you might be considering to not drink anything at all and just deal with dehydration. All I can say is that I've seen people faint on the subway platform. So don't even think about it. If you're thirsty, drink some water. And if you need to use the restroom, use the restroom. But herein lies the problem. How to find a bathroom in New York? Yes, New York City does have public restrooms, but there are far and few in between. Sometimes you'll stumble upon a public bathroom, but most of the time you have to kind of be in the know on where these are. Luckily, in this day and age, we have the internet and the power of crowdsourcing. There is a website out there that shows you all the public restrooms and establishments that have restrooms. There are also bathroom apps out there that you can download and try out. Personally, I haven't really used an app. I just used that website, which I've linked in the description below. But if you've used any of the bathroom apps, comment down below. You'll notice that coffee shops are a popular place to take a rest stop. That's because it's pretty inexpensive to buy something at a cafe in order to use the restroom. And it's also a good place to just sit and take a break. But note that not all coffee shops and cafes have restrooms. In fact, not all food establishments in New York have restrooms. But these tend to be the really small ones. I've been to a handful of coffee shops and cafes that do not have restrooms. And I feel this is wrong in more ways than one. You can't expect somebody to drink coffee at your place, which by the way is a diuretic, meaning it'll make you want to go to their bathroom and not have the bathroom facility. But like I said, this is the case for very small establishments. Most restaurants and cafes will have a restroom, especially chains like Starbucks and Shake Shack but always check before committing to buying anything at a food establishment, even a Starbucks, because sometimes toilets could be under maintenance or broken, which I've also experienced, so always ask. So you do have that website that I've linked in the description below for reference, but I do wanna highlight some restrooms that I've come to rely on over time, and these are gonna be included in that map. In Lower Manhattan, you have the Staten Island Ferry Terminal. The Staten Island Ferry itself is free, so there's no need to get a ticket to even enter the terminal. Then there's inside the Oculus or Westfield Mall. This building is part transit terminal and part mall. And as I talk more about bathrooms, you'll notice that malls tend to have restrooms. Washington Square Park, Tompkins Square Park, and Union Square Park all have public restrooms. Further along, there are restrooms at Little Island, and in Chelsea Market. In Midtown Manhattan, you have Macy's flagship store, Moynihan Train Hall at Penn Station, which are nice since Moynihan Hall is fairly new, and you can't forget the mall at Hudson Yards. Just like Moynihan, the bathrooms here will be nice as well. Then there's Bryant Park and Grand Central Terminal. And at Columbus Circle, there's another mall with bathrooms. You kind of get a pattern here. Malls and large public parks will have restrooms. And at Central Park, the park of all parks will have a bunch of them. Stores like Whole Foods and Target will have toilets as well. All in all, these examples are just the popular ones. There are a lot more restrooms that you can look for. Just check that out in the website below. And regarding portable toilets, I avoid them at all costs. But sometimes they're unavoidable, especially if you're going to a large outdoor event. And if you do go to a large outdoor event, like a concert or waiting for the fireworks at Hunter's Point, my best tip for you is make sure to bring toilet paper and hand sanitizer. Because these events tend to draw in a lot of people and sometimes maintenance can't keep up and they'll run out of toilet paper or hand sanitizer. I'm talking from experience here. Restrooms in New York can be pretty frustrating sometimes. I enjoy using the public bathrooms in places like Zurich and Madrid. Tokyo was okay, but for some reason, some of their public restrooms did not have soap, 
What's up with that? I've always said to people I know that if I had a gazillion dollars, my major charity would be to fund public restrooms and showers. Not just for locals and tourists, but also for those that are unhoused and living on the streets. It's my personal belief that everybody should have the basic right to proper toilets and a shower. And perhaps maybe the city won't smell like piss all the time. You may have noticed this video is way shorter than my usual Saturday upload. I had very limited time this week. As I'm recording this, this is the same week I'm traveling to Montreal to go to the Canadian Civil Alive event. Other YouTubers that are in this similar niche will be attending. You have About Here, Oh The Urbanity, Paige Saunders, RM Transit, and City Nerd. I've linked their YouTube channels in the description below, so if you're not already a subscriber, make sure you subscribe. I'm hoping I can make a Montreal video out of this trip, so let's hope. Let's cross our fingers. Another announcement I'd like to make is that Urban Caffeine now has a Discord server. Yay! I set this up for all Patreon and YouTube members, and membership is as low as 99 cents a month. Hit the join button of this channel to learn more or visit patreon.com slash urbancaffeine. With that, thank you all so much for watching and until the next video, happy New Yorking!